What's up, buds? It is Fly High FPV. I got another bench top video today. Today we are talking about chargers. How you get all the packs charged without blowing your shit up. Uh, first thing is ditch the parallel chargers. They are not safe. You can ruin an entire fleet of batteries in one go. And if you do have an accident or a problem, the fire problem is just going to be multiplied because you've got so many batteries attached to one current source. Uh, with a charger like this, you can alleviate that risk to a great degree. This is a four-way independent charger, which means you can charge four batteries at a time and they all get individually balanced. They all get that love instead of having a group charging set up. Uh, this is my favorite go-to for the field. It is a DC only charger, makes it nice and lightweight and easy to carry. You can see I've got it paired up with a stay high field charging pack. This battery will charge an extra 12 and a half to 15 batteries. If you're flying like 6S, 1300s, it's like 12 and a half, 6S, 1000, you get like 15 extra charges out of this. But some guys are like, yo, Dave, that battery is badass, but I need something to use at home. You got a power supply for that thing? Why, yes, I do. I got the 240 watt power supplies from Hoda. This has got an XT60 out for your charger, so it'll plug right into the back of this bad boy. And it even has a pair of USB ports for extra power. So you got power delivery over Type-C and a regular Type-A USB port so that you can be charging your cell phone or your action cam while you're charging batteries as well. Um, and if four charging way seems like a little bit too much for you, I got the D6 Pro. This thing is a classic beast. It is a two-way charger with a built-in AC power supply, and it's got a built-in wireless charger, and it's got USB charging built-in. This really is a nice little charger for at home. I think it's the best for at home. And if you're, a, you're still a 4S pilot, I got something for you too. This is the Toolkit RC M4Q. It is a four-way 4S charger with the AC power supply built-in. Nice and lightweight as well, nice and small. And these are all smart chargers. If you're used to those old four button chargers, this is a world of difference. A smart charger is gonna actually take into account your battery voltage and help work with you to make sure you get it in the right place. For example, if you over discharge, so you bring it down to like 2.9 volts per cell, normal four button charger is gonna refuse to deal with that. And you gotta do sketchy shit with like NICAD mode. Forget all that. Get a smart charger. A good quality charger is gonna see that that battery is low and it's gonna trickle charge it to bring it back up slowly and gently. And then once it gets back up to 3.3 at a safe voltage, it's gonna drop the current in as requested and get it charged up nice and quick. If you need help with anything though, please reach out flyhighfpv.com or hit me up here on Instagram or YouTube. Uh, I'm happy to answer all your battery and or charging questions. I can do the charger math for you give you an idea how much power you can get out of everything. Um, I'm always happy to help keep you lifted. Uh, stay high field charging packs at flyhighfpv.com. Hoda F6 four-way charger. Hoda D6 Pro. That's a two-way charger with the AC power supply built in. The T240 is a dedicated power supply for your charger. And then the Toolkit M4Q is a four-way 4S charger. If you're still on the 4S baddies, hit me up. You need a thing. I got you.